Hey everyone, I'm going to be digging a trench today so I can have internet cable from the house to the garage. It's about 130 feet. We'll be digging straight down from this outlet. And I'm going to end at the house. So to get from the garage to the house, it actually took about four hours. The big expanded bucket, it packed up tight and I tried to clean it out a few times, but eventually I just gave up with that. So instead of scooping out dirt, I pretty much just ripped the dirt out of the ground. It still made a decent trench, but it took longer than it should have because I couldn't really pull up as much as I wanted. I think if I had used the 12 inch bucket, I could have actually done this project faster. I started digging from the garage and when I got about midways between there and the house, I turned around and started at the house and I dug back into the trench again and I ended up straddling it in the middle. That was a bit awkward to get out of and I wasn't able to get a video because it got dark at that time. You can see as I'm going that I lift the bucket and I use the backhoe boom to push the tractor forward. It saves a lot of time, otherwise I'd have to get out of the seat, go to the front seat, move the tractor a few feet, and then reset and start all over. So it saves a lot of time to do it this way. I have the tractor in neutral and the parking brake isn't set, that's why I'm able to roll it.
So I've managed to get the trench all the way dug from end to end. The tractor is straddling it right now. I'm about to run out of daylight. So what I'm gonna try to do is get all this pipe glued together and laid in the ground. I'll try to bury it in the middle. I'll leave the ends open for finishing up. Well, I've run out of daylight and I'm doing this by flashlight now. See, I've got the pipe in the ground. All I gotta do is cover it up. And I've still got the tractor parked on the ditch. So, I'm about to work myself off of that in a minute. All the way up. I'll have to uh, finish the ends off later. I had to uh, take the backhoe and scoop some dirt right behind the rear tires of the tractor so that I could turn and drive myself off of it. And I used the bucket, I pushed it down against the front and kept the wheels from front wheels from falling into the trench. So I've kind of got rained out of my project today, so I decided I'm just going to go ahead and do the prep work on getting these LBs ready to install. I went ahead and cut some pipe pieces, and I like to take the ones I cut and I'll deburr the edges. And then there are no sharp edges when I try to fish wire through there later. And then. I'll be adding the expansion joint. It has about five inches of maximum range, but I'll put it in the middle. Most of my conduit is between 18 and 24 inches deep, and that's that's above the frost line in Kentucky. So this will allow the pipes to float as the weather changes. And then I've got the seven eighths inch hole saw. It's the same diameter outside diameter as the half inch pipe also could be 22 millimeters if you prefer that measurement all i've got to do is prime and glue these together now not everyone uses primer when doing conduit but that's what my cement calls for so that's how i'll do it Well, it's day three of this project. I've only got about 45 more minutes of daylight. And I won't be able to finish this one today either. But I can put my LB on here and drill this hole. Well, it's seven days since I first started this project. I only got to work on a few minutes in the afternoon each night. But I finally got the hole drilled at the house. 
This isn't quite as straight as I wanted it to be. Might try to pull this over. But for now, I can get it cut. In my first attempt through this, I wanted to do the vacuum trick and pull the wire through. I couldn't get it to work, so I ended up having to use the uh, fiberglass fish tape. Kind of boring, probably. Uh. <laughs> Eight little wires in there. Real doodle. They're all twisted together, and I gotta untwist them, pull all the little curly cues out of them so they're straight again. Now what? I gotta try to get on inside this little plug. Now that's how they should look. I gotta try to get them all inside here. I think one missed. Some of these got out of place on me. A little stressful. What well, bad is when I'm at work and somebody's watching me while I'm trying to do this. go very well. Look at that. Finally in there as far as it needs to go. Crimp that on. This is done besides trimming off the leftover wire. What do you think? Alright, I've got the deco up there. And it's still on wireless at the moment. So we'll go ahead and do a speed test. We'll see what wireless speed was. Then I'll plug in the new LAN cable.
All right, 0 0.9 megabit down, 0.44 up on wireless. Now this is 130 feet from the house, 150 feet from the main router. Let's hook up the LAN cable. Look at there. Went red. It really hates wireless. Let's try this again. One oh eight down, one hundred and fifty eight up. Very acceptable. Here's the current network topology. I have one main deco and four satellite access points. Now, if I run a speed test at main deco, this is the first stop in the house and it has the best signal. Four sixty nine point nine down, four sixty eight point eight up. Fantastic speed. Hey there, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you taking time to watch it. Please give a like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you, everyone.